welcome to our deep dive into four bar suspension systems. We'll cover the engineering and computer simulation that best describes the drag car launch and how the current understanding is outdated or too simplified at best. Here's the typical configuration consisting of the two unsprung masses, the main body sprung mass, and two springs and shocks. Sometimes the tires are represented by their own spring and damper. We'll keep things simple to start out. This is a two-dimensional understanding, or sometimes referred to as, a half-car model. Many masters and PhD thesis have been written around this model covering ride quality analysis. We will consider the full weight of the car, and combine spring and shock rates. In engineering statics, we have a free body diagram. It shows the main forces and reactions on the car. If we look at the forces related to the hit, or the acceleration force Fx, the reaction would be the equal and opposite force at the combined CG. Also included, would be the wheel reactions, FF, and FR, as well as dimensions WB, and H. In the static analysis we're only looking at reactions to the acceleration force. Once we have the free body diagram, we can apply the equations of statics to obtain equilibrium. If we sum the moments about the front tire patch, we get the equation, FR, times WB, minus FX times H, is equal to zero. This results in the relationship, between FX, and FR. No matter what the hit force Fx is, it's always proportional to Fr, by a factor of h, divided by Wb. We call this, a constraint equation. Fr is constrained to Fx, by a factor of h divided by Wb. This ratio, the height of the combined Cg, h, divided by the wheelbase, Wb, is a slope. It also defines the slope, of the force at the rear tire patch, that is pointed at the intersection between the front tire, and the combined CG height. This line, in many books, is called the neutral line, or the 100%, anti-squat line. Keep in mind, this has nothing to do with the 4-bar linkage. It's strictly about, the ratio, of the CG height, to the wheelbase. We'll now look at the 4-bar linkage, and their projections to the instant center. If the linkage is such, that the instant center, lies on the neutral line, there is no squat, or separation. 100% of the load is transmitted through the 4 bar linkage, and none goes through the springs. Here's a free body diagram, of the rear axle, and the 4 bar assembly. It shows, how the vector goes to, the instant center, and results in no moment or torque, about the instant center. This means, there's no reaction forces at the front or rear springs. 100% of the hit, goes through, the 4 bar linkage. When the projection, of the 4 bar linkage, is below the neutral line. This results in a moment, or torque, about the instant center. This causes vertical forces to occur. To counteract this moment, the vertical force at the instant center, pushes down on the chassis, causing it to squat. The horizontal position of the instant center, determines how much this lowering is distributed front to rear. When the instant center lies above the neutral line, the moment is in the opposite direction. Therefore, the vertical forces are in the opposite direction, causing lifting of the chassis, at the instant center. This is called separation, and raises the rear of the chassis, upon acceleration. In engineering, there's a field of study, called engineering mechanics. This covers the science of forces. Forces cause stress, strain, and motion, such as displacement, velocity and acceleration. The field of statics cover forces when bodies are at rest, not moving. So far, all of our calculations are based on statics. The foundation of the field of dynamics is based on Isaac Newton's work, published in the 1700s, called Principia. It covers bodies in motion, and is governed by his three laws of motion. It's pretty clear, there is nothing static about a drag car launch. Therefore, 
we need a better way to capture the dynamics of the launch. Multi-body dynamics is a computer-based simulation used for modeling anything consisting of bodies, springs, dampers, joints, links or tracks. It's used extensively in aircraft, aerospace, and other fields. It's the perfect tool for modeling high-speed events such as race cars, race trucks, drag cars or anything with a suspension that moves and steers. If we return to the half car model and use this as the configuration for the dynamics model. We use ANSYS software for multi-body dynamics, a leading supplier of computer-aided engineering software. The weights and CGs as shown add up to the 2,650 pound car. The spring rates are a linear 500 pounds per inch. Compound rates and nonlinear rates can be modeled. The shock rates are a linear 10 pound second per inch. Any damping configuration can be modeled. Here's our half car model with a section of track. The model includes the individual bodies with joints to make up the complete car. Gravity is applied with an acceleration of 386.4 inches per second per second. This is applied for two seconds before making the hit to allow the suspension to settle. The hit force of 3000 pounds is applied to the base of the tire. It starts at two seconds with the full force at 2.1 seconds. This is an animation of the model lasting three seconds. Here's a plot of the rear tire and spring reactions. These would be divided by two to represent both sides of the car. Here's a plot of the lower bar force. This force can be used to determine the correct tube and rod end size. We made two separate runs, only changing the lower bar position. Hole three would result in a higher squat percentage. Here's a plot comparing the two hole positions 1 and 3. Notice that upon the initial hit, the tire is driven harder to the ground with hole 3 as expected. Also note that the higher spring forces, with hole 1, produce a higher tire force reaction, resulting from the squat. While the neutral line, or 100% anti-squat line is important, the spring rates and damping rates, which determine the damping ratios, and eigenvalues or natural frequencies, may have a bigger impact on the launch dynamics. These are all calculated internally during the multi-body dynamic analysis. Thanks for making it through our deep dive covering four bar suspension systems. Please leave any comments or suggestions. You can also email me at jeff at racecarsimulation.com. Thanks again.